today's topic is set up the Node-RED starter in IBM Cloud. If you are at the hackathon, for example, Node-RED is very useful for rapid prototyping. So it's cool to have an instance directly on a cloud. IBM offers with this Node-RED starter an easy way to instantiate a Node-RED inside a cloud uh, running on a Node.js Cloud Foundry app instance. You can define where you want to instantiate these Cloud Foundry app instance with the Node-RED. Here you can also add tags to organize yourself. You can see that the Node-RED starter uses Node.js, SDK and a Cloud database. So we will take a look later what a Cloud database does. Create a Cloud Foundry app with the containing Node-RED. So it's starting. During the startup process, let us take a look inside the Cloud and database, which is binded with a Cloud Foundry service alias to take advantage of the VCAP variables. Inside the Cloud Foundry service, we will examine what the database does. Let's open the Cloud and dashboard. At this moment, we see there is still nothing. Let us go back and see how far our instantiation of the Cloud Foundry app is. It's still in starting progress. To examine what happens, we can go to the log and verify is there any information or maybe is there an error. No, no error. So let us take a look in the Cloud and database, make an update. Oh, now we can see something happens there. There's a new database and we have a doc information. Uh, the design information you yeah, to query on this. Okay, so that seems uh, there is still progress with configuration and, and we have no errors in our log. I update the browser maybe. Yeah, the app is running and let's take a look in our Node-RED running inside IBM Cloud. The first step is to configure the security for my Node-RED instance. I give a username and the password. I enable for a hackathon, for example, this use pool button. Everyone can see what I do in my editor, but not change it. So, and here you can see there is a, a rich area of capabilities for the node red you can use in your instance. As I said, it's really perfect for prototyping. If you have it on the internet, uh, everyone can use it. You have a direct access. It's cool. <laughs> Now Node-RED is instantiated and runs on the IBM Cloud and I open up the browser in a new tab. So uh, you remember we have uh, the database, so let us take a look inside the database. Is there any new stuff there? Yeah, we can see there's uh, information about the settings. So I will create just a um, basic flow. I give the tab for the flow a name. So for basic, so just to show that it's really basic, and I will insert just the inject and a debug uh, to show yeah something happens, and I wire it, and you can see that's really easy for usage, also for other st stuff. Now I want to examine it. You can see the configuration dialog, which appears for uh, different nodes. So I choose um, to send some text. So, and now you can see that's normal what happens. You can watch the editor and do changes, but not save it. You must log on to your instance, really, to commit changes, to deploy changes to your flows. And I can deploy the change to my flow and examine, does it work? So let's press, it works. Okay, the information of the flow is stored inside the database. So nothing get lost. I can get it from here. So cool stuff running in a few minutes. Start with prototyping. I hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching.